The music scene in Omaha is preparing to get another boost, uh, and uh, many are hoping it'll attract more music artists to the city. And that means new acts who haven't been able to schedule uh, a time here in Omaha. It's because they didn't have a venue that suited their needs. New tonight, 6 News' Marla Lundak shows us how Omaha is aiming to avoid missing out. In the heart of downtown, Omaha Performing Arts is getting ready to open its third venue in the city, Steelhouse Omaha. There's nothing else like it in our city. The new venue will hold between 1,500 and 3,000 people. Omaha Performing Arts President Joan Squires That's for the people says who Omaha's will travel been missing here to out see on these shows. They will stay and in hotels. This new space will bridge that gap. Well, Steelhouse Omaha is really attracting bands that have been skipping our city because they don't have a venue of the right size. As a musician myself, it's fun to see the stage come together and all the seating that's being done really well. Not, not a bad seat in the house. City Council Member Pete Festerson toured the building this week and says the location will offer a perfect middle ground between places like the Slowdown and the CHI Health Center. So we have lots of smaller venues around town uh, that are doing great and bring, bringing great shows. But this will reach uh, a segment of attendees and a segment of shows and artists that we aren't currently getting that are well known, but uh, maybe aren't playing arenas yet. But it'll be a great place to see a show in, in kind of an intimate fashion. Steelhouse Omaha will differ from the Holland Center and the Orpheum Theater by hosting genres like pop, rock and rap. Squires also tells me the goal is to attract a younger audience, specifically those between 18 and 45. We think this is an important demographic as we look to increase our workforce, uh, attract businesses here. People are looking for things to do, and we think Steelhouse, not just the bands inside, but the entire venue is going to be an experience that will really help this city uh, attract this age. The venue is on track to open in May and aims to hold 90 to 100 events each year. A really easy access for all the musicians and the load in and load out uh, folks as well. So I know the artists will appreciate it too. So I think it's going to be a win win for everybody. Festerson says maybe one day his band will get to play there too. <laughs> I'd love to someday, yeah. <laughs> on your side in downtown Omaha, Marlo Lundak, 6 News. Now, Squires would get specific about which acts are avoiding Omaha. I would not say who are organizations trying to book but it says we can expect announcements in the coming months.